Welcome back to the third episode of the podcast series. As you can see, that Plymouth Argyle shirt and that Rochdale shirt represents a special guest today, Cam O'Brien. Welcome, to, I'll use my name as Cam Wells. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Cam, how are you feeling today? I'm fine, mate. How are you? Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> You're banging out his YouTube videos. Fuck you. Yeah, you've been on the mountain, haven't <laughs> Yeah. We're just having a mad half hour, I don't know what about. But yeah, first of all, we're going to share our favourite PS4 moment together. So Cam, do you want to share the story? Oh, Scott, best PS4 moments. Um, well, basically, a lot of things really. Like, us on FIFA, that's basically, I've got to know you a bit better. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the party chat has just been amazing. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, when we met Duncan, <laughs> that was the uh, best moment. <laughs> Um, mine's got to be when I beat you in the last minute. You fucking went off your head. Oh yeah, I'll start raging. <laughs> you snapped the FIFA dish. You punched it through. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you still looking this? I don't know. I mean, I need to my FIFA nineteen. I'll go get it now. Oh, I don't mind, I threw it away, but yeah, believe me, FIFA does get on our nerves. So, Cam, you gain promotion to League One after being relegated. How does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing, mate, honestly. Like, Brian Lowe, what he's done for us has just been extraordinary. Mm -hmm. The way he's came into our club without knowing anything about this club. True. And then buying, like, bringing the players from Bury and then bringing them to, making them proper greens and then... Bury Argyle. Oh, he's very good. <laughs> and then bringing them into making them a green and then obviously it has some ups and downs but For no promotion, promotion's the best feeling and yeah yeah so obviously Ladderpool went Ramirez went Matt Macy went David Fox went quite a lot of your players went and are you happy with the performance that the new players have come in like McFadden Mayer Ryan Hardy Cooper on loan uh, Alex Palmer yeah 100% obviously they So, if you guys don't know this, we was going to meet each other on the 18th of April for a match at Scum in Red Boundary Park. Um, obviously, I was going to be in the Plymouth end, why would it not be? Uh, with Cam, Leon, Harvey, who else was coming? Ruben, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, and Cam was going to like have, well, at Oldham, away end, you go around the back and there's like a bar, but like you can have concourse parties in there and stuff and whatever. Yeah, we're going to hopefully we've got promotion then. Yeah, because I did say if we got promote, well, if I, I don't support our guy, but Cam does, if I was with him, me and him would have run on the pitch, do an east side, flip off all the Oldham fans, you know. Just because, why not? It's funny. Well, see, I'm pissed off how the season ended. Mm -hmm. Because obviously... We still went we up. Had, we, had, we went up, yeah, it's perfect. But I think, personally, we would have won the, we won, won the league. Yeah. But because, like, as well, like, we 
we've had we had extra our next game and obviously everyone was hyping that up. Mm-hmm. I was buzzing for it. And mm-hmm. then um oh look, this fucking pandemic happened, didn't it? And yeah. obviously it's just a load of shit. Mm-hmm. And we obviously just got back into training now. And obviously we're waiting for our promotion celebration. Parade. Parade, yeah, exactly. And then mm-hmm. obviously we're gonna get together when it's like necessary, but yeah. Yeah. So but, Obviously, you were supposed to play Exeter. Any words for Thog Dad seeing as well as going in the dark end? Oh, to be honest, mate. Honestly, man. I mean, he only got a I ticket there. I couldn't get my toss. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, obviously, it would have been nice to meet Matt and obviously give his give sports to my blog and then get into his blog or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, wrong side of Devon, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wrong side of Devon. So, with the Premier League returning, who do you think's been the star man since the return? I know who I'm going to say. Star man since the Premier League? Uh, out of any club. Any club? Mm-hmm. So it can be... Um, I don't know. Probably Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. 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 Because people don't know you that well on my channel, but on obviously your channel know you. What Premier League team do you support? Basically, I'm, I, I follow Liverpool. Basically, mm-hmm. I, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge Liverpool fan, but mm-hmm. I do like, like them now and then like, mm-hmm. when they play. Obviously, thirty years since that Premier League title. How good does it feel to be one, well, one major title away from Man United? Because we're Man United's twenty, yours nineteen. Yeah, it feels, it feels amazing, obviously. Obviously, I'm not from Liverpool, so <laughs> I don't know how good it felt. But it did feel a bit nice winning the, winning the Premier League title, obviously. But, mm-hmm. yeah. If you had to pick out of this season, or a season you got promoted at Rochdale, did you got promoted at 2003 at Rochdale? Did you not know that? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Would you rather be promoted at Rochdale so you can rub salt in my face I'll be promoted to Exeter so you can rub salt in their face and they. Come on, man, what's questions that mean? I'd rather get promoted at fucking Exeter, I mean. Aww. Oh. Obviously, yeah, rubbing it in your face would be terrific, but. Yeah. Colchester and Barrow away. <laughs> yeah, and we're doing Pompey and Sunderland away, so. Stick and Hull City. And, yeah, all the other. What fixtures are you looking forward to then? What away days? Um, Hull City. Definite. Yeah, I can't wait to get that. Fleetwood and Blackpool again because it's seaside, there's loads of stuff to do. If you watch my Blackpool vlog and my Fleetwood vlog, you know I always do stuff in Blackpool before anything. Um, what else is there? Um, Wigan, I'm not looking... I am looking forward to but it's a bit boring Wigan, you know, just Wigan. Plymouth, hopefully, away fans out loud in the stadium, hopefully we don't play before the 1st of October, because if we do, then that means we won't see each other unless you... Oh, I don't know. But I'm thinking it's going to be home fans only that's going to be allowed in, because if you look at it, Leicester and Oldham are the two highest, and Oldham's literally just down the road from Rochdale, so... Yeah, I was thinking that possibly the way fans won't be allowed in back in like January or something. Well, that sucks because I, like, Atkinson, Stanley, New Year's Day this year. Um, yeah. I mean, if we if we draw Man United in the Carabao Cup again, or Man City even, we can't go. And you know how my dad went at that Carabao Cup night. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just pandemics, it's been awful. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been alright for you. I mean, it's really tested you with this new person on the scene, so yeah. it's up to you if you want to spill the tea. Obviously, yeah, but yeah, I knew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew. Me? Well, everyone yeah. knows I'm back with Lovren anyway. <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to the new season, basically. What's 
your ideal finish for you next season? Surviving relegation because we lost our talents from Ian Henderson to Salford City. Callum Counts may be going to Fleetwood. MJ Williams, don't know. Joshua Lee's flied. Um, you know, it's disastrous. Wilbraham, I wouldn't be surprised if he went to fucking Oldham, to be fair. I mean, he's, he's done Bolton, he's done Rochdale, he's Oldham, there's, you know. Hopefully, yeah, my bottom four Swindon Town, scum. You know why, don't you? What? No, you, do you know why? Do you know why? Why? Remember what this oh, big man said to Leon, and then when I went to ask him, decided to remove me off Facebook. Oh yeah. 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 I recall you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Swindon Town bottom. AFC Wimbledon. Probably for I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Swindon, uh, AFC, AFC Wimbledon, Crew, and I say Fleetwood because they have lost quite a few key players, but with Callum Camps in that midfield, if they get him, they'll survive. Because Callum Camps is a rocket earth shotter. See, personally, I don't think Fleetwood will go down. Yeah, but look at who they've lost. Mm-hmm, true. Personally, for me, I'd like to see us get a mid-table. I think that's where we need to be this first, because like, we're on the verge of, like, obviously, everyone knows how big our club is. So yeah. Like, like, we need to get some championship standard. But, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Obviously, Ryan Lowe's first. Um, the managerial experience in the League One. Um, obviously, the players he's running, obviously, experience it before. But, mm-hmm. yeah, it's going to be nice to see what he can do. And, obviously, the can wait for him. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's how we. Well, I first found Cam Channel after the game in December 2018. So we're fucking. Oh, David Perkins, let's back pass it too hard. Yeah, good one. After we just see cool eyes. Uh, who put you up? Was it? Uh, it weren't Labipo, it was. Yeah, it was Grant who put you up. 1 0. Then we equalised with Bradley Moon. Then Brian Edwards made a horrible mistake. And then, you know, to run off a man, smash up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, despite all that, you obviously opened the grandstand. Obviously, your bird sits there now. So, I'm. Thoughts of the sand before, what do you think of it now that it's been redesigned and rebuilt and, well, it's basically got a roof at the top but no roof at the bottom, so it's basically the same as, what, upgraded, bigger and better? Yeah, personally, I think it's alright. Obviously, I don't sit there. But yeah, you I'm sit in Devonport. Looking at it, when it was getting built, every week, every week, we'd be like, we had a home game. You can see the improvement it had. Mm-hmm. Obviously, got up. I feel sorry for the people who sits in the very top corner because they can't see fuck all. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. If, you, if the goal went in, they just scream and went down at the bottom high, and everyone would go, What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That's why their phones do fucking scores and that. <laughs> We did have a scoreboard, then Bradford smashed it because we beat them. <laughs> they did as well. We had it up. No, we had it for, up for one match, yeah. Bradford fans just mm, leveled the shit out of it. <laughs> Sheep shagging bastards. Oh, uh, I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bradford City out of the league one for fuck's sake. I was. So, Carabao Cup, if you were to draw one Premier League team, who would it be? I'd pick Bournemouth. Bournemouth? Yeah. Bournemouth, 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 yeah.
Mm-hmm. Either Liverpool or United. We've also played United, third round of the Carabao Cup, Wednesday the 25th of September 2019. Yeah, I haven't won the Carabao Cup because we've done United, we took into penalties, we could have won if we didn't miss the penalty. Well, Romero pulled off a spectacular save, it's expected, but I haven't won Man City. Oh, Everton, just to beat McGurrison yeah. Park. Yeah, to be fair, I'd like to go some of the Premier League grounds next season, but obviously it's really hard for them to get there, but, but if we draw any big team away, and if the fans are allowed in... It's not just go Brighton, it's down the road. <laughs> but yeah, FA Cup, if you used to draw a Premier League club, who would it be? So you can't use Liverpool or Man United, so I can't use City or Everton. I think, uh, yeah. Watford or Watford's been relegated. They're, they're fucking down, innit? Uh, if they come up, Brentford. No, they're in the final, aren't they? So. But if I'm talking now, I'll probably say of a new pass or Wolves. A tune tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might. Um, I do want to play Wolves just for experience, just for Luke Matheson really to see. I, yeah. I've seen his photos today; they've been amazing. Really settling into the club now, so I'd say Wolves over Hampton. So, just a quick question: Your thoughts on Manchester United this season and David De Gea? Well, I've been keeping like I, I don't like Man United personally, but if I went. Bollocks. I was just saying, get rid of the hair and bring in Dean Henderson back because obviously the hair has been shocking this season, hasn't he? And I don't know how Man United's got the top four. I don't understand how you have got top four because uh, obviously, what, the year December 12th? We're 14th in October. Yeah, 14th in October and now we're going to be Varchester United, all the penalty you've had. Shut up. Loser people. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> enough about Premier League talks. Who would you want to sign? If you could pick one player from Rochdale, who would you want to sign? Aaron Morley. Twat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ellie Haywood's crush. <laughs> but yeah. Aaron Morley, I think he'll be a perfect replacement for us. So that's a good problem. <laughs> if I was to pick one player from you, even though it's Fucked off today, Callum McFadden. Obviously, when I had that news, I got it. Mhm. Just on the touch of uh, Premier League side, when you said Newcastle, the um, takeover is not going ahead now. It's been called off. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. So I personally think those new owners should have a chance because Mike Ashley, it, what is it? What I do? Promote Sports Direct. Yeah. Go to the printer, print banners, stick them around the country. Don't promote them on it. Uh. Mate, I, I don't understand it. If they, if they got that new takeover, then they'll be sorted. Mm-hmm. They can get like, anyone they want, really. They can get anyone they want, really. But I don't understand it. They still got to put up with Joe Linton. <laughs> Alright, oh, guess what Joe Linton's first goal was against? Guess what team? Mm-hmm. Swat scored it at St James's as well. Yeah, it comes. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number and one. My nan can bag more goals in than him. She's <laughs> practically in the wheelchair. John Joel Shelby in midfield. Yeah, fucking Voldemort. <laughs> I would say Maximo on the wing, Miguel Almiron, Martin de Bradka. They've got good players, but I think mm-hmm. they improved them. Yeah, mm-hmm. they could have been better. But it's just the fact that they deserve yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you ever do go to St. James's Park, it is a natural space in that away end. You literally feel like you're on Mars looking down. It's, you know. So, Cam, I'm going to ask you this question. What's it? Right, you've literally got five more minutes. So, what was your favourite video of mine this season? It can't be Man United, it can't be Newcastle. Which one is it? Fleetwood. Which one home are we? When you when you went off your nap. That was at home. Yeah, you're home. When you went off your tits. Bro, I'm pissed off. Well Doncaster Doncaster was a good one. Yeah, fucking right now made me miss a penalty, I had to get my face painted. Well funny. Um if I was to pick your favourite video, ooh, which one do we pick? It's got to be the older one where you ripped into him for a bit. I was surprised you'd say Chubby Parsons on camera, nor you. I would have. My, my favourite one was recording, probably. It's got to be Bristol away. Yeah, well, Leon jumped on you. Screaming, screaming at Bristol fans, that was incredible. And then he got screwed over. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you could have just started on that long game. <laughs> One message you have for Exeter fans is shout it. Shout it? Yeah. Devon's green and white, mate. Yeah. You can't step to us. Yeah. Social distance, lead one, lead two. <laughs> oh, dear. Or the gap. Mm hmm. Obviously, mine to all of them is his name is Joey Thompson, who grew up in our time. He kept the down league while they sent the old scum down. So, if you had to pick where you would finish next season, where would it be? Like, top half or bottom half? Mid. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going promotion, me. Mm-hmm. If we get promoted, you owe me 50 quid. Right. I'll be... You'll take playoffs. I'll take playoffs, yeah. But you've got Ipswich, Sunderland, Portsmouth, Hull. Yeah. Could be a really tough league. But yeah, I think we can do well. So I am going to make a separate video on this, but considering Charlton's situation is like Berry's, this is Berry this time last year, what do you reckon Charlton's situation is going to be like? Are they going to go like Berry completely out? Or are they going to survive? With a minus 12 point deduction, it'll be relegated to League 2. And I don't see that. I see Charlton obviously getting someone in. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you dirty bastard. <laughs> I, see, I, see, um, I see him getting someone in and uh, rebuilding. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I hope Charlton do survive. Uh, Tyler and Millie, two good vloggers. Go check them out, I suggest you do. Millie Esmond and Tyler Rawlinson, go subscribe to their channels. They're real good Charlton vloggers. Millie's not uploaded in over a year now. I think she had GCSEs, so fair play to her. Uh, Tyler is obviously nearly 20, so he'll be banging out videos, doing what he wants. But yeah, if Charlton get the minus or point deduction, do you reckon they'll get out of that relegation zone, or do you reckon they'll be like Bolton and go straight down to League 2? Nah, that's too big enough for that. I reckon they'll go, I reckon they'll survive it, to be honest. Could be tough for them, but... Mm-hmm. So, who do you reckon is going to win the Premier League, the Championship, League 1, League 2? What, next season? Mm-hmm. Well, Premier League, I think, is a toss-up between City and Liverpool. Uh, yeah. Um, championship... <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll go Swansea. Swansea. League One, I'll go for Sunderland. Fucking <sighs> hell. League Two, I'll say Bolton. Right. So, Premier League, Man United and Man City scrap. Liverpool have won the title now, they won't care. They'll be too busy chasing Champions League, getting knocked out by Atletico Madrid. 
Um, championship winner, Norwich, they've got a mentality to go back up. Daniel Fark, you know, he should have spent money in the Prem when he had the opportunity. That's what sent him down, really, for it. Uh, got TB Pookie, Tim Cruel, Todd Campbell, even though Todd is linked with either Liverpool or Man United, I preferably think he is going to go to Liverpool because I've seen more rumours of him going to Liverpool than United. Um, League One, I'm going to say that's tough. If I, either Portsmouth. Or, if Charlton don't get that minus one point induction, Charlton. League 2, tip me Rovers. Uh, Tramway, I call them tip me because it's just a joke we have between me and Alex and Cam. So, yeah, um, Tramway to win League 2. For runners up for the Premier League, I'm going, oh, it's either Man City or Man United. Runners up in the Championship, I agree, Swansea. Um, Runners up in League 1, say Sunderland. Runners up in League 2, Bolton. And then Bradford win the playoffs. So, who do you reckon is going... Who do you want, if you don't get it this time, do you want a January transfer or whenever it's going to be now? I don't know. about Freddie Leonard, Bob, back home? You want him back, didn't you? You want him, didn't you? Mm. You, you haven't got any strikers, have you? We put one on it, we put one dapper on his ass. Three one in fact, it would have been four one on four one in aggregate because three one at home and one nil at their stadium. You know, we we put Gladapol on his ass, yeah. We put Erson, their keeper, on his ass. I don't think he's a championship player, Mark, if I'm honest. Yeah, true. Well he didn't. As a manager. Not me, out though. Mm-hmm. So, Cam, what do you reckon I should do with those shirts? Do you reckon I should put them in my wardrobe or keep them there for the next video? Up to you. I mean, I ain't got a tip me shirt, thank God. <laughs> Joking, Alex, don't cry. Have a milkshake, son. Um, yeah, next podcast, I've got. Elliot and Alice Brown on the podcast, then I'll do the group podcast with you lots. So, should we Yeah. Oh dear. Thank you so much for having me on. It's been a pleasure. It's alright. Anything you want to say before you go? No. <laughs> you sure? Devon's red and white, yeah. I'm joking.